Rose, I believe it's called. And uh, all the hikes here in Ontario are very easy from what I've found so far. I don't know about the ones like near Algonquin and like the national parks here, but at least the ones where I'm staying near Ottawa, they're all rated as easy on all trails. So this one was pretty easy to find and it's not too far away. So we're headed there right now after we can see breakfast. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. This is the first time I've ever been hiking with a Starbucks water like this. I I left all of my water bottles, water bladder, everything at home. I didn't even think about bringing one because I packed literally the day before we left. So I'm stuck with this Starbucks cup, but it'll do the job. This trail is absolutely, while I trip over stuff, this trail is absolutely stunning. The fall foliage here is so beautiful. It's completely different from the views we see in Alberta for sure. Like there, it's mostly like large trees, pine, that sort of thing. And here, it's just like maple trees. It's so pretty. So I'll show you guys the views and let's get into the hike. done the trail and so far there hasn't been really views of anything other than really really beautiful forests and some amazing mushrooms but other than that I don't think that this trail is meant for somebody that's looking for crazy amazing views but you'll still get a nice like nature walk if that makes sense what do you think of this trail I'm dying no he's not He's lying. Keep moving. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Break the wheel alive, or we run in circles, running around. Break the chase alive.
guys so we have made it to the end of la rose forest loop this one took us i don't know <laughs> my garmin says it it was 8.93 kilometers it is a loop so we're back at the parking lot this one has minimal elevation gain so if you are mountain biking this will be a great trail for you and yeah we'll see you guys in the outro Welcome to my after hike summary for Forêt La Rose or La Rose Forest, whichever way you want to say that. I did this hike back on October the 5th, but I'm pretty sure it's gotten snow since then. So this is actually a snowmobile slash a snowshoe trail in the winter. So I think this is like perfect timing for me to put up this video. I intended to have it up a lot sooner than this, but I mean, I've been working with a lot of different brands and stuff in the month of November I had to play catch up on my videos so that's why this one's so late but I hope you guys can appreciate it regardless maybe add it to your list for next year in the fall or if you are planning to travel here in the winter then it's gonna be a great snowshoe trail for you and I'll give you guys kind of what you can expect so this one we clocked in at 9k for the loop. I think you can make it slightly longer. We took one shortcut kind of near the end of the loop. So I'm pretty sure you can make it up to 10k, but we clocked in at 9k with an elevation of 35 meters. And this took us two hours and 36 minutes. We didn't really stop a whole lot for anything. We stopped to take photos and just vlog and stuff like that. But we didn't really like stop to eat or anything like that. There wasn't really a view on this one. So I say like elevation gain of 35 meters and I'm a little bit shook because the easier end of hikes for me are an elevation gain of 500 or 600 meters. A more challenging hike for me would be like 900 to over 1,200 sort of like elevation gains, you know? So with it being 35 meters, I'm a little bit, it's throwing me off, but I have to remind myself this wasn't in the Rockies, this was in Ottawa like near Ottawa, it's kind of like on the outskirts of Ottawa. We were staying super close to here. I think we were only 15 minutes away from the actual trail. So I begged and pleaded Andy to go on a hike with me, even though he really didn't want to, but I'm like, the elevation gain is so minimal. You're not gonna feel it. It's mostly flat and which it was, it was not even really hills or anything like that. This one definitely felt like a nature walk it was super beautiful with all the fall colors and it's just a different terrain different trees different plants than what i'm used to seeing on my hikes normally so it was a lot of like maple trees and everything was like red yellow orange it was such a beautiful beautiful time to do this hike it was actually pretty warm the day that we went and honestly for hiking gear I really didn't bring a whole lot with me. You can't bring stuff on the plane like bear spray or anything like that, even though I wasn't really worried about bears per se because I just heard that, that in this area, bears are just either non-existent or very, very, very uncommon. So I wasn't super worried about that, but I honestly didn't even have a water bottle with me. So I ended up going to Starbucks, getting like a Trenta ice water and taking that with me on the hike. I didn't have a whole lot of hiking gear, but I knew that the hikes in Ontario were fairly tame as far as hikes that I'm used to doing. So this was a great nature walk. This was a great loop, very easy to follow other than some sections when you reach the like snowmobile road, I guess. It cuts in and out of the forest, I guess. So you're in the forest for a bit and then you have to cross this road 
and to get to the other side of the forest and then you do it again and again so it goes in a complete loop like i said the forest sections were really beautiful there wasn't a whole lot to look at as far as views there wasn't any like mountain views it didn't open up to any meadows or anything you're literally surrounded with trees this whole time so this is a good one for beginners i would classify this one as very easy so yeah i highly recommend this one if you are just getting into hiking if you're kind of traveling around the ottawa area and you're looking for like a good hike to do i know that there is multiple hikes that showed up on my all trails as far as hikes nearby but a lot of them are actually in quebec because quebec and ottawa are very very close to each other like literally you you just cross a bridge and you're on the quebec side so a lot of the better hikes in my personal opinion as far as like looking at photos were on the quebec side so i'm a little biased and you might want to travel just across the bridge and do one over there because they just look a lot better but other than that like this one was a cute little walk in the woods i would do it again if i was in the area and if i live near there it's something that i would probably do daily or you know like a couple times a week at least but i really did enjoy it it was a good little walk in the woods and would i recommend it yes if you are into like hikes nature walks that sort of thing and you live somewhat close by to this one it's worth the drive or it's worth a little walk or whatever and yeah that is pretty much it for this video i didn't really do a whole lot of hiking in ontario if you guys are wondering i did a lot of like tourist things like i went to the parliament to look at it and take photos and stuff like that i did kind of a lot in the two weeks that i was there except for hiking so it's something that i really missed when i was there and that i was definitely looking forward to getting back into when i returned to alberta so i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead click the subscribe button below i upload three times a week sunday wednesday and friday and i'll see you guys soon bye